Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, today, I think I want to do this house, the house with a sea view. It's kind of like a two-level house. Uh, I believe it is from the HGTV DLC. Uh, it's decent sized. It's not like super, super large, but it's pretty good sized. Uh, it's two floors. Obviously, you can see there's a staircase, a couple of balconies, uh, yard, not too big. Uh, but yeah, should be a fairly cool little house to do. Um, I don't exactly know what theme I'm going to go with, but obviously we'll have to clean up the yard and all that kind of stuff. Uh, as far as outside the house, uh, looks like we're going to have to spray the house down because it's pretty dirty. Wow, there is really not a whole lot of yard space here. That's pretty small, but that's okay. Uh, so if I remember correctly, there is a door here that leads to the first floor. We've got like a tiny little living room space here. And then over here we have uh, two bedrooms and a bathroom. And then this is like a closet. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we might do... what? Hmm. I wonder if I could change this a bit. Like, we could maybe redo a couple of walls here or something. Uh, to make this room a little bit bigger. But either way, uh, we got two bedrooms down there. This door... Actually, three bedrooms. Okay, so we have three bedrooms downstairs. Then, like, a little, a little living room area. And a bathroom. And then going upstairs, we have a absolutely hideous wall uh, with another bathroom, a little kitchen area, and then another sort of living room slash dining room space. Okay. And then out here, we've got our balcony slash deck, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's basically the house. Uh, we're going to have to change pretty much all of this, I think. Uh, most of the colors and stuff I'm really not a huge fan of. Um, yeah, I'll have to put some thought into how exactly I want to do this, but uh, first things first, let's get the place all cleaned up. Well, now that the whole place is all cleaned up, I think it is time to give the colors in this place uh, a major overhaul. I think I want to get rid of a lot of the wood tones here. These, like, this orange is absolutely hideous. Uh, this isn't too bad, but I don't think I want to go with wooden paneled walls in, like, almost every room in the house. Uh, the bathrooms and kitchen both look disgusting. And the carpets, uh, downstairs they're probably, like, mostly fine. I'm still going to change them anyway. Uh, but beige is not bad. Up here, though, this red carpet is blah, very nasty. Uh, so yeah, we need to, uh, we need to overhaul some colors. Uh, so I'm going to pick out, uh, wall and floor patterns for all or most of the house. And then we'll see what we have to work with. Well, my friends, everything's got a nice fresh coat of paint on it. Made the stairs uh, and the deck into like this nice oak color. Um, floors, I believe that this, I wonder if it will actually tell me. 
Uh, yeah, it's this like alome panels or however that's pronounced. Uh, I think it looks nice. Uh, it's this kind of like light hardwood color. Uh, then the walls up here are forest green. Obviously, everything in here is going to be a little bit brighter once we get lights and stuff in. Uh, I decided to change the kitchen up just a little bit. I brought this wall over so that the counters could kind of be built into the wall. I may still change that. I may put this back to like this um, uh, lintel, you know, the, the upper wall instead. Uh, but the idea is we're going to have a counter that kind of goes along here. Uh, and then this will be probably open space. This is going to be our kitchen area still. We'll have a dining room, uh, like, probably here and sort of a living room area maybe over here. Uh, going downstairs, I went with, like, this light blue wall. Uh, again, same hardwood floors, at least in this uh, room and the hallway. But then when you go into each of the individual bedrooms, this one's like a beige carpet with a light green or, like, a pastel green color. Uh, the bathroom, I went with uh, this sort of... Uh, tiled, I don't even know what you would call this, mosaic tiles, I guess, and then white tiled walls. Uh, this bedroom is like a light yellow and blue, which I think once we get furniture in here is actually going to look pretty good. Otherwise, I might change it, but we'll see. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, this one is like lavender uh, with a white carpet. This, I'm imagining, is like a girl's room of some sort. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, oh, also, there's uh, one more bathroom, too. I forgot. Uh, this one. Uh, went with, like, a herringbone tiled floor here. And then again, white tiled walls. Uh, so yeah, those are basically the colors. Now it's a matter of getting furniture and all that kind of stuff in. Uh, I was really hoping... I tried really hard to find this floor texture that's on the top of these stairs... And, like, I actually genuinely really like this floor texture. I would use it all the time. Uh, and it's just not in there. It doesn't exist, uh, as far as I can tell. It might be a wall texture, but it's definitely not a floor texture. I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find it. Um, which is unfortunate, because there are other ones. Like, um, let's see. This is a floor texture. This is a floor texture. Uh, like a lot of these are actually floor textures. It's just the one that I actually wanted to use. This one right here is not, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, as I said, it's time to start putting in furniture. So I'm going to start working on rooms and, uh, we'll see what we can come up with here. So I decided I wanted to start with the kitchen and I know that this looks super simple, but this was actually a lot more complicated than you might think. Um, I knew that I wanted to have sort of like a, um, a built-in fridge here, one that was built into the wall. But then once I did that, that left me with some really weird spacing. Uh, so the thing is, uh, most cabinets, most kitchen cabinets are 60 centimeters, like the ovens and these like triple drawers and stuff like that. And if I knew I wanted, I needed a sink, I needed a corner piece and then I needed an oven. And that means that there was a bunch of spaces that were like 55 centimeters. So I, <laughs> so it was a lot of like trial and error trying to figure out like, okay, I, I guess if I use like a 30 centimeter one here and a 25 centimeter one here, then it'll fit and like, yeah, but I'm happy with how it turned out. I believe the wood color that I went with was, um, Brazil nut. And then I used cream for the countertops uh, to give us a nice contrast between the cupboards and the backsplash. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with how it turned out. It is a small kitchen, technically, uh, even though, like, it's not that small. It's, it's decent sized, but, uh, but it'll work. It'll get the job done. I think it looks nice. It has everything you need. Nice built-in fridge, lots of counter space, lots of cabinet space. So... Yeah, I'm happy with it. I suppose you could also consider putting in... Actually, yeah, you probably would. I feel like there'd be an island. Uh, let's just look here. Is there a island in the Gustum set? I don't think there actually is. But it would be easy enough to just kind of make our own. Uh, actually, isn't there a peninsula? 
Yeah, so this is the island set, or this is what they use for the island, essentially. Okay, so what we could do is just to get a little bit more cabinet space in here and a little bit more counter space, we'd want to go about here. I'm just going to kind of make sure that this is lined up right. So I think it should be there. Does that look correct? Yes. Okay, good. So that's where we would want it. We'll just kind of move that over. I don't want to have, like, too much. Um, probably right there, actually, is all the farther we'd want to go, I think. Because we still want to make sure there's plenty of, like, walking space. And since the oven is right there as well, like right here, you wouldn't want to block the oven by having this come out too far. Uh, but just throwing in, like, a little bit of an island here to give us just a little bit of extra counter space, I think, would be sensible. So, yeah, we'll add that in as well. Okay, cool. So that is the kitchen. Uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, now for this big giant room, which I think we're going to make a living room and dining room. Okay, I think I got the upstairs here all finished. So we have uh, our little stairwell here. Just put a painting on the wall, a little uh, bookshelf with a plant on it. Nothing fancy at all. Uh, a little bit of light. Uh, but then once you move out here, this is kind of our living room space. We've got uh, a couch with a coffee table and a rug at sort of a diagonal angle going into this corner television. I really, really, really wish that House Flipper had more corner TV cabinets. Uh, I really wish there were... This is, I think, the only one in the game, uh, which is super saddening. Uh, <laughs> but uh, still... I think this area works. Uh, I think it's a nice little living space. It'll do. Uh, then over here, just a couple of plants uh, to kind of lead out. This is more of a walkway since there's like three different doors that all kind of go through this space right here. So not really a whole lot we can do there. Uh, but then over here, we've got just a dining room uh, area with a nice dining table, six chairs, a uh, little sideboard over here, some more plants. Uh, again, just a nice sort of dining room space so you could take anything you made in the kitchen and bring it out and eat it right away. Uh, but yeah, that is basically this whole room. I wanted to keep it pretty open, uh, not clutter it up too much with a bunch of stuff that wasn't necessary, but uh, still make it look nice, and I think it does. So yeah, now it's time to start working on the downstairs. So downstairs, I decided to turn this into a family room. This is going to be a, a family house. We're going to have uh, designated kids' rooms and stuff like that. And uh, the families, they really want to have a family room. So here we have a family room. It's basically just a living room with some toys added. Uh, so we got a nice couch over here, fairly small with a coffee table. Over here, TV and TV stand, a bookshelf, then some kids' toys, and a nice dinosaur-themed carpet. Uh, so pretty small, but a place that you could kind of, like, hang out with kids and, uh, you know, watch some cartoons or, like, whatever. Uh, then leading this hallway over here, I just threw a rug down, a couple of paintings on the wall, and a little uh, shelf sideboard type deal there. So next up, I think I'm going to tackle the bathrooms and then the bedroom or bedrooms, I guess. So let's start with the downstairs bathroom. This is very simple and both bathrooms are honestly pretty similar because the layout of the two rooms is fairly uh, similar. So we have a shower kind of built into this little nook in the wall over here. We've got a toilet, a sink, a mirror, and some towels. And that is basically it. Um, this is not a ton of space to work with, but we managed to fit everything that's important uh, and get two full bathrooms into this house uh, with, you know, everything you need. So there's the downstairs one. And then the upstairs one right here is basically the same, except it's a little bit longer. Uh, it's actually a different shower. I know they're very similar, but uh, it's a different uh, model of shower. And then here we went with a different sink and mirror, but again, it's a very, very similar uh, idea. We've got towels, shower, toilet, sink, mirror, and that is essentially the bathroom. Uh, because these two bathrooms, there's, 
I think realistically, there's only like one logical way to lay these out if you want to include a shower and a toilet and a bathroom. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with it though. I think they're both very functional. They'll get the job done. And we, that means we have a three bedroom, two bathroom house. So yeah, works out great. Okay. So I think I want to start with the master bedroom here. Uh, and this is, it's, it's okay. It's a little weird because we've got this closet here. Uh, which means I can't really put anything like right here because it would block the closet. But I think it works out given those limitations. So we st I decided to stick with that kind of like off yellow color. I think it works fine for uh, the furniture stuff we picked. Uh, we've got a nice big double bed with two bedside cabinets. I think this is the... Uh, this one, the Tecma double bed in brown oak. Uh, and I think it, it fits perfectly like right here, put down a little like sort of cube bookcase right here, some paintings on the wall. We've got a Van Gogh starry night. We've got, uh, another sort of just still life painting here. And then I decided to fit a radiator into the corner just to help sort of fill up this space without just using a gratuitous amount of plants. Although actually come to think of it, let's throw in one plant, right? Uh, maybe this one? Let's just put a plant in like, oh, that, that clips like horribly <laughs> into the wall. Uh, let's do that. There we go. That's a little better. We'll just put a plant right there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, got the radiator. We got a plant here and then, uh, we've got a nice dresser here with a mirror on it. Uh, but the primary place that these people would store their clothes would be in this closet where I just put a couple of shelves and a mirror. Realistically, there'd also be like a hanger deal thing here, but that's not actually something we have in House Flipper. You can't get uh, just like one of those bars that goes across to hang clothes from. Uh, unfortunately, I think that would actually be a pretty logical thing to add to the game, but hey, what do I know? Anyway, so yeah, that is the master bedroom. Uh, and now it's time for the two bedrooms that I'm going to turn into kids' rooms. So it turns out there is actually a space requirement for a children's bedroom. It needs to be at least 10 square meters, and this bedroom is only eight. So it's not large enough to be technically considered a children's room, even though it does have all the necessary stuff. But I think it still turned out just fine and it looks pretty good. So we went with this uh, purple lilac colored wall as we had planned to. Found a nice little bed here that is also purple to sort of fit the color theme. And then uh, I just threw down a dresser, a small bookcase and a bedside table, and then just a lot of like sort of random things that I would find that I could imagine finding in a room like this. So we've got like uh, a poster for a movie. We've got, uh, you know, some cute pictures and stuffed animals and all that kind of stuff. I think it's a perfectly fine little room. We've got a mirror on the wall here. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but it's a very small space. So you work with what you got. And I think it's a perfectly adequate room for some, uh, you know, some girl to sleep in, some child whatever. Uh, the other children's room, on the other hand, uh, we managed to fit a lot more stuff because it's considerably bigger. This one's 12 square meters. So I, th I managed to fit a bunk bed right here, kind of nestled into this little nook, uh, which I think works out great. So we could have two kids sharing this room, essentially. We've got a nice uh, sort of animal themed carpet on the floor. And then I went with a little bedside table and a nightlight, a bookcase here with a uh, uh, just like a football and a book on it. We got a dresser here, some toys, a mirror above it. And then over here, we've got like a desk where you could do homework or, or whatever. I imagine that uh, the children living in this room would probably be a little bit older. Um, but yeah, and then we've got just some random other stuff on the wall, skateboard, poster, whiteboard, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, this I think works out great as a children's room. So we've got the two kids rooms done now. And I think I think that is the whole house, right? We've got our uh, our girls' room, we've got our master bedroom and closet, we've got our bathroom, family room down here, going upstairs, we've got our living room and dining room area, we've got our nice big kitchen, 
And we've got our upstairs bathroom. Yeah, that is the whole house. Um, I don't think I want to do anything with the yard on this one. So I think we are pretty much ready to sell this thing. Uh, let's go for it. We'll go ahead and put it on auction. Let's see what we get. So it looks like we have about probably maybe 150, 140,000 into this house, somewhere around there. Okay, so I'm thinking let's try and get a little bit more out of them. Can we get 14? Probably not. Uh, let's try for 9,000 more. See if we can get 45,000 out of this thing. Let's try that. Just see what we can get. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I will accept, and we have sold it and made 45000 in profit, which honestly isn't bad. I mean, that's uh, we, we probably had about 150 into the house, so somewhere around there seems decent. But uh, we're kind of at the point in the game now where 45000 doesn't really matter that much. Either way, though, we should get some nice before and after pictures. Everything, I mean, a lot of these camera angles are really poor. Uh, that's a decent one, sort of. But yeah, there you go. The house with the sea view. There was one little bit right here. <laughs> there was a glitch I forgot to show. Uh, some of you may have noticed it, and if you did, it probably drove you crazy. If not, uh, then don't worry about it. If you did notice it, I assure you it was a glitch and I didn't just miss it. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. We have another house in the books and another uh, flipped house added to our portfolio. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.